Wow, wow, fantastic. I like that one. Now, that was awesome. Here's why. So, when you first came, there was a little sliding going on in your backswing. So as your lower body slid back, it forced the upper body forward. And because your center was constantly moving, you know, you were spraying a lot and you were losing a lot of power. So we did some battering ram and we did some, you know, throwing, you know, horseshoes so that you, we can start activating your legs because the thing about the legs, if you don't move the legs, then your arms crash into your body and then you cannot get the movement you just got. Like that last swing there, you're gonna love it, okay? So we start opening up the legs to free your body up so that we, instead of replacing, you know, most people say, hey, you're sliding, don't move your hips. Well, now you're in a whole new bag of problems because now you can't move, you're gonna hurt yourself and, you, and, and you're gonna lose so much distance, right? So what we're looking for is replace the slide with a turn. Now, you notice as you slid, your head was moving forward, like his head was moving this way, and that was forcing you into the ground. So you were jamming the ground a lot and you're pulling the shots to the left. Okay, so we brace, we're looking for the top of the head. So this is where the tilted spiral series comes in big time. So tilted spiral, part one, two, three, and four, and yours is gonna be number five, <laughs> okay? So the head, if I pushed on the top of your head, I want the pressure to go through the spine, through the left hip, into that left ankle. The right leg holds you into that. Right? So yesterday we, we, we got you to swing and the progression was perfect, right? Because you had to discover this stuff. So we did some uphill shots to hold you with the slope. We did some ball below the feet so that your right foot can start to stay on the ground. So we attacked the, the problem from the ground up. Now we're going back from the top down. So we talked about the hunter and the high powered rifle. I want to fire a rifle in this direction from a standing position. I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to fall on my butt. I'm not going to do it here. I'm still going to get blown back. I want to feel really solid from the right into the left and hold myself against my target. So we take this axis. We brace it into the left side. Now you feel there into the left ankle and the right leg is holding everything against that. You'll see that in that last swing. Okay? Now notice your shots are, they're not going left anymore. And they're going much higher. And you notice you're no longer gouging the ground. So from here, we've opened up the target for you. So you saw before the reason why you were losing your lag. You tip this way, your head's already in front, you gotta hurry up and hit the ball before you miss it. So you're gonna lose the lag. But if we can hold you against the left side, so that your left side can use the ground to get you out of the way without getting in front of the ball, Man, it's like win, 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 win. So, brace against the left side. I feel how this pressure system is staying intact. Now your right side's moving perfect. So because now you're staying tilted through, the right foot's staying down. So all of the things that we talked about are coming true. You see that? Fantastic, come on back. So we got grip, super secure, no fidget. <laughs> Posture, through the glutes and quads, through the knees, right? You feel the arches of your feet suck in the ground nice? Yep. Now we can establish the axis from the top of the head through the spine into that ankle. Do you feel that? Yep. Okay, so now let's see you take a backswing and stop. Fantastic, so let that come in a bit more. Allow, oh, no, 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 come in, oh. there, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so because if it goes forward, notice you were losing your balance there. Right. So just to finish the turn, okay. fine, stay right there. And feel like you're able, doesn't that feel like you can throw it wide to your target now? Okay. So now when you start down, you wanna feel, keep the axis, so you feel now that you still have, if I push on the top of your head, we're going through the hip, knee, ankle. Yep. So now everything's gonna unwind around that axis. See that? Keep the butt out. Yep. Keep the butt out. There, feel that? Now, doesn't that feel like you can throw the club over there? Totally. 
Exactly. Right. Now you got lag to boot. We got height. We got no gouginess in the contact. Okay. So the sensation you'll see in in tilted spiral part four. You'll see. Once the, once the, the uh, axis is established, pardon me, once the axis is established, everything unwinds around it. You remember you said, hey, it's like it's going out there by itself now. Exactly. Because now you're in that great position where the body says, I want to go that way. You gather around that and it's like, wow, everything just gets spat right out there toward the target. Okay? Good. Let's hit. That didn't allow me to, to get it. Right. To, so as, as hard as I tried to create the lag, it couldn't happen from where I was coming from. Right. With my head here. And you had a few preconceived notions that were really hindering you, which are not your fault. I apologize on behalf of the golf industry. So, what was your focus? Uh, probably the ball. <laughs> okay. So, we're going out there. Now. Nice grip. Yep. Nice setup. Do you feel braced from the head through the hips into the ankle? Yeah. All right. Now let's see a nice high throw over that white flag. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Okay. Awesome. Now look how easy it is to keep that right foot on the ground now. Right. Come up. So get the butt out a bit more. Knees bent a bit more. There. Now do you feel like you're really secure through glutes, quads, and ankles? Okay. Good. Excellent. One more. Good. No sway in the back swing. Nice miss. So, nice and forward. It's got to feel now. Oh, don't over tilt though. It's got to feel like the low points here. No, the other way. So, do you feel like the low point's going to be there? Uh, yep. bend, bend your knees now, man. Oh. There you go. Now you feel solid. Yeah. So you feel the axis. Glide around that axis back and through. Good. So the sway's not there, except it just doesn't that feel a bit bogged down? A bit restricted. Just give it a little bit more glide. <laughs> Narrow down the stance a bit. Don't get too wide. Really feel, feel on. No, feel on top. Okay. Come on okay, back. Okay. There Come we go. on back, because you you okay. o, you're okay, o, right. always okay. over tilting your body okay, here. There we go. So bend your knees. Get the butt out. Bend your. There you go. Now do you feel over it? Okay. Catch your grip. So we're just tilting the head only, just the head. Do you feel over the over the ball now more? Yeah. Good. Glide around it. There we go. Much better. Okay? All right. So for you, square is tilted. Okay. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll just, get over that. Just, I need a mirror. Well, you just stand. Just stand straight over the ball. Feel like you're just standing straight over the ball. Brace into your left side. From behind, right? Brace into your left side. There, from, from the tailbone, right? Yeah, I got you. Exactly. Now tilt the head only. Only the head. That's it. Okay. Square up. There you go. Square up. Sit back. Tip and we'll make it. Got it. Square up. Sit back. One. Good. Now throw it out there. Well done. Good. Go ahead. All thin, but so those are going be exactly between the red and the white flag. So all you need to do now is make your prediction and watch your grip because when your right hand gets underneath like that, you can't compress it. Killer. So keep that index. That's it. You got to keep that grip. Now, now push against my hand here. Go push against my hand. Feel that pressure? Yeah, yeah I got to feel it with my. Well, how do you supposed to take a divot without that? So when your right hand, see this right hand's perfect right now. You don't want your right hand too far over it. Right. And you don't want your right hand too under. Your right hand starts to sink yeah. here, and now you're going this way. That's your knife to grip, isn't it? Is That's it. it. Yeah. So yeah. so now yeah. come on down. Yeah. So take your setup. Now push against my club. There, look at that. 
Yeah. See, that's what's going to allow you to get yeah. through this stuff. Yes. Now put your right hand under. Yeah. Push against that. No, that's useless. That's push more than See, that. doesn't that feel like you're you're pushing yeah. upwards? Yeah. Well, that's perfect for sculling. Yeah. That's it. There you go. Excellent. Is it for the tournament? All right. So, obviously, that was a different feel in your grip. So, one more time. Grip, check. Ready to compress. So, your right hand's already sliding under. Your right hand is under. There. Good. Now, posture. Brace it into that left ankle from the top of the head. So glide around that, throw it out there. There it is. So notice you didn't hit it that one thin. Had much better contact. So to resume what you're gonna, how you're gonna work on that, watch your grip. There we go. Brace. Do you feel that axis in place right now from the top of the head to the ankle? Now focus on the throw out there toward the white flag. See the diff? Yes. Notice that's going way higher. It's projecting better, even though that was a little thin. Yeah, exactly. So now you're in a great position to throw. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit four shots, focusing on unwinding around the axis and allowing that to throw out there. So you're just feeling how you're unwinding around the, the sternal notch braced against your left side. And then four shots, throwing. Okay. Change clubs, four around the axis to feel how you're unwinding around the axis, four throws. And then you'll see how it, it comes together and the final product's going to be throw. We won't play golf, we're throwing that way. Okay? Good. Grip check. Set the axis. Good. With that axis, can you throw the club out there? Conserve the axis, throw it out there. Okay, one more time. So let me add a little something to that. Good. You got the axis to throw? Okay, when you throw, you're going to use your legs, right? Okay, so conserve the axis, throw with your legs. Better. So it's not a shoving throw, it's a, a throw. Remember when, it, when you felt you were throwing that club into that post and how we, you, we were using the legs to throw that, right? Watch your grip. Okay. Conserve and throw. So does that feel like a throw? Well, that's the obvious part. That's like me saying your shoes are black, right? <laughs> so the chunk, the chunk part is you not throwing out there. Exactly. Is it a throw or not? It's a throw. Wow! Holy smokes! Was that gorgeous?